dear Gemini, this is a love reading, a prediction for the month of January with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. As an extended member to the channel, you will get these readings ahead of time and with no ads. And there is a reading up, 2022 love prediction for the full members to this channel. And the gifts of 2022 is up for all the members where we reveal what you have to look forward to in 2022. Extended and full members can also order readings from me with a 30% discount after the holidays. Subscribe and then check out the many perks through the join button that will appear or follow the link in the description box to learn more about membership. I can recommend that you rewatch the previous love reading for December to get a context and this is the prediction for January. And I will start reading your cards and I use the Golden Universal Tarot with Roberto De Angelis. When I open your deck here, I see the Ten of Coins together with the Page of Wands. So it's almost like someone is being offered, you know, gold, the green forests, castles and um, uh, beautiful princes and saying, ah, oh, but I want to, you know, I want to do this other thing. <laughs> so, okay. So I call the divine with love and light. And here I have the three of, three of cups together with the page of wands. So it seems like someone rather wants to party than to commit to their partner, rather wants to date around than to, uh, you know, build on something long lasting. It's, um, it's a child, it's a young energy or an immature energy. So I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world. And here we see the nine of swords with the page of wands. Uh, <clears throat> if we want to uh, drag like an immature person and build a legacy together with them, like uh, we want to have a house and uh, we want to, you know, build on our finances together, uh, getting, um, uh, getting children, um, building for the future and we are taking this immature person, that's going to hurt because the immature person is not built for that kind of commitment. They are not built for that kind of responsibility. They just want to go out and party and have fun and, you know, do something stupid. Uh, so uh, if you want to have like a husband or a wife, you need to choose from husband and wife material. You can't choose, you know, from... Uh, kindergarten <laughs> someone that's you know still acts like they're like very young even they, if they are they might have the, the in appropriate age uh, but they don't have the appropriate uh, maturity okay six elements and here we have the king of wands with the page of wands so this is you being very upset with this person for being who they are uh, for being in this way which you know it's who they are it's a uh, um, let's say that you need to have a pigeon that can carry letters, uh, but instead you take a seagull and it, you know, it doesn't care about your stupid letter. It just wants to go down to the harbor and play with other seagulls and get some fish, you know, go fishing a little bit. <laughs> and your letter, it will be, you know, long forgotten and rotten uh, against their leg. So um, if you want someone for the job you need to hire someone that's you know appropriate for the job uh, you can't give it to someone that you know can't do the job because they are not cut out for it um, someone uh, of my <laughs> channel viewer said it's like if you want to have sushi but you still go to a pizza restaurant and uh, try to make an order of sushi it's not going to come any sushi for you okay <laughs> so Six elements, earth, wind, fire, water, spirit, and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear Gemini viewers. So I want my dear Gemini to have love in their life. Yeah. You know, it doesn't work. It doesn't matter if it's fair or not. <laughs> if they are, like some, they don't have the equipment. They don't have what it takes. So it can be unfair, but it's still, you know, totally logic that a person that's immature can't be mature. So I'm just going to tune in here for a few seconds to you, the person most on your mind and your relationship in January. Okay. 
So this is um, um, the new bottom of the deck. And we have uh, this Knight of Pentacles, which I feel stands for, you know, logical choices. Um, if we want something, we need to study it first. Is it up for the job? You know, you need to have maybe a job interview, go on several dates, uh, learn to get to know each other, see that ah, it's a very responsible person. They're always on time. They're reliable. They're probably not going to forget the kids at the kindergarten. Uh, so uh, that's, you know, <laughs> very good. Uh, so study uh, the person before you commit to the person or before you, you know, give them a task that's not appropriate for them. And this is the old bottom of the deck. And um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm getting the sense that you might have been a little bit more strict in the past. And, you know, uh, you found a person, doesn't matter if they are not cut out for the job. You as a you know, slave master <laughs> can make them cut out for the job. And so this seems to have been uh, your mindset, maybe not with you being aware of it, but you just thought, ah, they are hopeless. I will whip them into submission. No, you probably didn't think that, but uh, you thought that I will heal them. I will make them, you know, a good person. But from a divine point of view, uh, this is how you looked, okay? Uh, like you were going to take a person that's, you know, a free little bee, uh, wanting to just um, fly around and uh, have a joyous time. You took that and said, oh, I want you to work really hard to get a lot of money so we can start a family and it will be it just you know fainted and fell backwards okay so this is what's on your mind with the person most on your mind and this is the situation with said person this is what's on your uh, their mind about you um your feelings uh the bond between you two their feelings for you uh, this is your behaviors and attitudes and the outcome for January, and this is their behaviors and attitudes. So we start with the situation here, and we have a five of pentacles in reverse. So <clears throat> I guess this is what happens when, um, it, you know, you try to force someone into a relationship they don't want to be in. They will feel like a hopeless person because they can't live up to your expectation. Uh, you will feel abandoned uh, because they don't seem to love you enough uh, to make an effort for you. Um, so this is what happens when we don't study the person and we think that it's just a game and we throw our heart into the mix uh, with someone that doesn't have even the same plan as you for their life. Uh, so this is um, what's on your mind with the person most on your mind. And you're very focused on, on needs, how to get your needs fulfilled uh, from this person. But it's a nine, so it's connected to the hermit. You might now have realized that you in some way need to fulfill those needs for yourself. Um, maybe the person didn't have the equipment that was required. And this is what's on their mind about you. Um, I'm feeling a certain level of um, uh, fear here. Um, like hysteria, <laughs> okay, uh, a person that says, no, 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 <laughs> it's the little bee that fainted, <laughs> so um, you say, fulfill my needs, and it says, but I can't, <laughs> I don't know how to do this, <laughs> it's not in my nature, um, I, I, I'm too small <laughs> to pick up the kids, because it's just a little bee, uh, okay, uh, so I'm tired now, I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, I will try to focus. And this is um, uh, the bond between you two. And it's the hangman. So the hangman. Uh, I think the hangman, hangman in this represent that we have put uh, our eggs uh, in a basket together with another person's eggs. And we realize that we are stuck because we love the person. Uh, we are not compatible uh, with the person. We don't want to let go of the person. And now we can't live the happy future which we imagined uh, because we are stuck with this person. And they don't want to live that future together with us. So it's complicated and we are stuck. Okay. But uh, this is a good card. It's a major kind of card saying that uh, this, uh, uh, this situation, it holds in itself a seed of uh, evolution. So even if we don't get what we wanted, at least we will be more experienced after this is done and we have learned more and we have become um, like a wiser soul 
and this is your feelings towards this person and uh, it seems like you are giving up you know <clears throat> having a little bit problem with patience with this person here 13 12 if you don't start to you know behave um and i i can't rely on you when you're acting like this i will have to break up with you so it's pretty grown up it's not uh, it's not uh, this is not a person whining about their situation and, you know, wanting things to be different. Okay, wanting is one thing, but understanding that if things aren't different, I might need to, you know, change the variables of this situation. If, if that person can't live up to my expectations, I might need to find one that does. Uh, so it's very hands-on uh, in this case. Um, that breakup is on the table, it seems. And this is... Um, uh, the other person's feelings and they feel um, pretty lonely uh, is what I'm getting pretty lonely a little bit unsure they feel as they did something wrong but the only thing they did was trying to follow their own dreams and it was not you know didn't make you happy so um, I feel like they are feeling like they're walking on eggshells <laughs> a little bit here I'm not sure what to do okay I'm trying to figure it out but I'm pretty sure I'm going to have the wrong answer here. And this person is going to be very, very angry with me. Uh, so um, I'm, I'm feeling a no here. They don't want to, you know, change accordingly in the way that you would wish them to. And they're pretty sure uh, that they don't want the same thing as you do. And, uh, but they are a little bit insecure if they are allowed to feel that way. Uh, they might feel as if that's the wrong thing that they should, you know, do things in some other way. And then that would be the right thing. But it wouldn't be the right thing for them because they are their own unique little creation from, you know, the universal creator. And um, they have a mind of their own and dreams of their own. And this is your behaviors and attitudes. And Six of Cups in the reverse says, I'm not going to forgive you this time, okay? You're a bonehead. Uh, you're, um, you totally lack all the skills that I need and you are, I can't even educate you to understand uh, how to do the things I need from you. And the other person says, well, um, I didn't want to commit in the first place. I didn't want this kind of relationship in the first place. So maybe that's why, um, um, why it's not working out. So they, they kind of reject, you reject reconciliation, they reject, you know, the future which you wanted together with them. Um, okay, uh, so um, to go a little bit deeper uh, before I go too much into this story, I want to see what they... Uh, I'm ready for commitment. Our love is deep as the ocean. I want to marry you. I'm definitely sure that this is... Uh, your cards because I was talking too much and didn't pay attention uh, to okay now I'll focus uh, this person what would they tell you if they dared to tell you the truth uh, your love kickstart my healing so they are grateful for that um, I used you as supply you might have noticed that like um, they w were taking everything that you were given. You were giving everything that a wife or a husband would give to their partner. But they probably didn't give as much back, you know. They didn't have the same uh, idea. They probably enjoyed what you gave them. Uh, but they didn't give you the same thing back. And that's probably why you're a little bit pissed off at this point. I don't think I ever truly knew you. Uh I don't think uh, you n knew each other because they probably saw you as, ah, oh, this is a very self-sufficient person. You know, you look very strong uh, and you will probably not uh, ask uh, them to support you and fix all the things for you. So they could have you, but still be free. And from your point of view, I don't know what you saw, <laughs> but I think you saw from the beginning that this wasn't maybe husband or wife material. But anyway, <laughs> you decided to go for it. Uh, so um, I think they misinterpret you and you didn't want to see the truth with this person. So, of course, you never really knew each other. You just saw the picture that you wanted to see, like you superimposed the picture upon 
uh, each other that wasn't really true. And then you got disappointed when the other person wasn't, you know, on board with your kind of future. And this is um, the outcome. We have an eight of wands here. So we come with some kind of message. I would want to understand a little bit more. Is it a message from this person in that case? What's the intention with the message and what kind of message? Self-indulgence. Focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. This person is trying to learn to love themselves for who they are, like the freedom-loving little bee and seagull. And unfortunately, they can't be your, you know, letter pigeon and they can't be your husband or your wife. Um, they are working on self. It's like a teenager that's, uh, you know, trying to define who am I? Uh, why, why am I here? And they don't need someone else to tell them who they are because that will just, you know, confuse them even more. Who am I? Who are you? <laughs> why are we here? It's getting more and more confusing because they need to be allowed to be selfish at this point and figure out who they are. So they are not in any stage to um, decide upon you know, a life plan. Uh, they might not know what they want to do tomorrow. It can be this or that, or we don't know. Uh, so, <clears throat> and what's the message from your point of view? Abundance. Keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. Uh, so maybe now you're a little bit wiser, you have understood, like this is a little bit eureka moment, and lighted here and uh, eureka so you probably with the death here and I don't want to reconcile ending and not no reconciliation you have understood that this person is not cut out for the kind of job that you interviewed them for uh, and that you might need to restart the interviews foe and melancholy um, you, you think that they are your enemy but I don't think they are your enemy they just you know weren't cut out for the job they are not evil just because they don't want the same thing as you it's just they are their own person you didn't find like a good match for yourself and now you're a little bit you think that everyone in the world is is going to be like this so you might feel hesitant to uh, try to uh, create a new situation for yourself where you can have a job interview for uh, more suitable candidates or at least find out if they are suitable or not but you're sad because you think that they are your enemy. I don't think they are your enemy. They just, they were just not, you know, weren't cut out for the job creating this uh, home for you. This kind of future. It's crushed and burned. Okay. Uh, so I will see if we can get some kind of advice for you what to do in this situation and I want more clarification for this eight of wands because the eight of wands is like big energy coming something coming in really quick what is it and how to deal with that Oof, deep freeze I'm not seeing anything coming in really quick hmm maybe this is um, um, the relationship ending really quickly with the eight of wands like you got the message and now you need to go into a a situation where you you need to accept that it's winter now and you can't uh, create anything more first you need to mourn you know your previous employee that fainted and you know uh, flew away to the harbor and didn't do anything useful with their time so you need to mourn that a little bit before you can go back on track i think this is just a eureka moment for what you have understood uh, this person has understood that they can't live up to your expectations and they don't want the same thing as you do. And, and you have understood that they are not cut out for creating this beautiful future with you. So it's nothing wrong with your idea for your future. It's just that you you chose a flawed candidate. Okay, so deep freeze. 26. Um this eight of wands might, of course, be like an insight that might, it's a little bit flawed because it's not utterly true that this is your enemy. Uh, they might feel, you might feel heartbroken and crushed by them because they crushed your dreams, but it was never their dream to begin with. So everything has its season. Now it's time to put uh, activity on hold while you rest. The cold winter beacons you to slow down and put a freeze on things that are not yet ready to bloom. It's um, time for 
uh, regeneration and hibernation. Forgo ambitious activity. A uh, pregnant pause allows idea to gestate, projects to shift and change, and relationship to go through a dreamy state of being, not going anywhere, not needing to. This is also a time to put all your arguments on ice. Nothing beneficial will come from any of them. Self-care is the most important activity now. So reflect, read a good book, or get a mess massage. Rest and dream. Um, so... Uh, it doesn't matter what you do to try to get your dream fulfilled. Um, no matter how much you try, push, manipulate or cajole, life wants you to take a break. You need to do this now, lest you become exhausted and be forced to rest. What you need will be there for you when you emerge again in springtime. For now, winter has its own ideas for you. Wait for signs of spring. Uh, so we can't just jump from one um, you know, one set of arms to the other, we can, but uh, it seems as if you need a, a pause in between to heal and, you know, uh, recalibrate yourself and uh, maybe also mourn this relationship and everything that you, um, that you saw for it, uh, for the future. And also forgive yourself because um, um, you took um, like <laughs> a young fall from the paddock and thought that it would be like a perfect riding horse but it it's, was none of the sort like it wasn't ready so um, <clears throat> to uh, you can still have your dream you just need to rest a little bit regroup uh, recalibrate come out fresh again so you won't have this kind of mindset like uh, everyone is my enemy there's no good partner out there and um, do better job interviews in the future and don't throw your heart in before you know that this is the man or the woman for the job okay so i would urge you to watch the true thoughts and feelings to get more information about this situation or love prediction to learn more at my first channel page you will find playlists for your astrological sign where you can watch all the latest readings for your specific sign in one single playlist on the end screen you will see a link to that playlist so go and check it out Thank you so much for watching and take really good care until next time. Happy holiday season and a happy new year. Bye for now.